flames tearing through scenic Highway 1. And again, Highway 1 has been closed because of this fire. Take a look here at this hillside. We're told this portion of the fire got started just about 30 minutes ago. My name is John Charcho. I'm the fire chief of the Ben Lomond Fire Protection District. 2008 was a historic year for fire in Santa Cruz County with over 5,000 acres consumed by fire. Many of us even know families that lost their homes to the devastating effects of wildland fires. Citizens groups have taken the initiative to remind us of the dry season fire potential by installing signs warning of the dangers of fireworks or discarded cigarette butts. During a major wildfire, it is unlikely that there will be enough firefighting resources available to defend every home. Even with adequate resources, some wildfires may be so intense that there may be little firefighters can do to prevent a house from burning. The key is to reduce fire intensity before a wildfire nears your house. Your local fire code and the public resources code require a 100 foot defensible space surrounding your home and any other structures on your property. There are several things you can do to reduce the threat to your property from wildland fire. Characteristics of nearby vegetation and routine maintenance often determine which homes burn and which survive. You should reduce the amount of flammable vegetation surrounding a home. You should keep your roof free of combustible debris like pine needles. You should keep firewood and other combustibles away from your buildings. The first 30 feet from your home should be free of any combustible vegetation that would transmit fire to the structure. Dry grass, pine needles, and combustible vegetation should be removed. 30 feet to 100 feet from your building, trees should be limbed up to prevent the fire from reaching the treetops. Combustible vegetation should be removed from this 30 foot to 100 foot zone as well. Some homeowners have taken steps to help us protect their property by purchasing a portable fire pump that firefighters can use to protect their structures using water stored on the property in swimming pools or water tanks. When a wildland fire does occur, pay attention to evacuation orders. The theme for evacuation is ready, set, go. When told to get ready to evacuate, do so. When the evacuation order is given, cooperate by leaving the area. Citizens who evacuate at the last minute prevent the timely deployment of firefighting resources. More information may be obtained by contacting your local fire agency. Contact them and ask them for a copy of Living With Fire, which also may be accessible via their website. Do your part to help the fire service agencies of Santa Cruz County protect your property and loved ones from the threat of wildland fires. Create a defensible area by reducing burnable materials from around your home. Flat, moderately steep, or very steep environments each have their own requirements. The booklet, Living with Fire in Santa Cruz County, contains information and guidelines on fuel clearing procedures. Refer to these guidelines and confirm your efforts are appropriate for the terrain you live in. Living with Fire in Santa Cruz County and additional information is available from your local fire agency. You can also go online to the California Department of Forestry's website at www.fire.ca.gov. At that site, you may download this booklet, a homeowner's checklist, and watch online videos about creating a defensible space around your home.